another Monday in this godforsaken city. And, you know, although I try to focus on the positives, if I did list the negatives, it would seem as if everything is about to collapse. But uh, the main thing that's been bothering me this week is, you know, as you guys saw last week, I spent $10,000 on that dehydrator to get it here, install it, everything, and it's still not working. And I guess let me just go over there and explain it. So I bought a few hundred pounds of skirt steak last week because I was excited to do the first trial run of jerky. And when I turned this on, it just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter, which means, you know, the temperature gauge, what you set it at, it's not the actual temperature that the machine wants to register as. So something's off with the wiring. If I set this to uh, 27 Celsius, it's supposed to stay up here at 27 Celsius, but it just keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter. It'll go to like 100, 200. It'll go up to like 500 Fahrenheit, which is insane. It's like an oven. I can make roast beef in here with how hot it's getting. Now, I don't know how this came. I don't know if the electrician changed anything. I mean, I know the electrician had to hook up the main power line here. Uh, this is the whatever breaker, whatever you call it, for the sensor on the front. So hopefully this guy comes by today or tomorrow, takes another look at it. If not, I'm going to have to start from scratch, just cold calling some type of like a refrigerator or commercial restaurant repair guy. And God knows if I'm going to be able to find someone that can fix this type of machinery. I'm just, I have no idea what I'm looking at. And when shit like this happens, I just don't want to do this anymore because I'm getting ripped off by contractors every fucking week just because I'm missing the mechanically inclined part of my brain. I have no fucking clue what I'm looking at, although I know exactly what's wrong with the machine. So uh, I called up a couple of North American companies that sell these things and I asked if they service outside of their you know, sales and they don't, but they recommended that you know, I can probably contact, as I mentioned, some type of restaurant or kitchen repair company. Uh, it's just every week this sits unused. Now that it's here, I'm losing potentially thousands and thousands of dollars in jerky revenue. So even if it costs me, you know, a thousand, two thousand to fix it to operational status, I just need to do it at this point. It's just a matter of finding someone that could come in here. So we got most of the post office orders ready. I still got about 15 to do for Frankie's free range foods. The silver fabric for the shirts and the shorts is in. It's at my tailor, so ideally by the end of this week, next week, all the Wi-Fi shielding clothing is back in stock. You guys can get that on wifishielding.com as well as the bed canopies. I'm wearing my protective shirt right now. You guys that have seen the live streams, you know, I have a bed canopy around my computer. I have a bed canopy where I sleep. Just reducing the Wi-Fi EMF as much as possible. And you know, one of the reasons I don't like being down here is just because I don't feel good. I might try to shield the whole building with some like aluminum wire mesh at some point if I have to stay down here, but uh, that seems like a bit of a nightmare to do. I don't know how much it would cost me to, to get people to set that up, but uh, it's just not really practical right now. The glucose product that's supposed to replace nature's glucose is scheduled to arrive in the port on Saturday. Uh, so that's another exciting product that we might have really, really, really soon. And hopefully uh, we do get the jerky up and running. That's uh, you know, five new products in a fairly short period of time. You know, we got those new enzyme blends on organ supplements. We got the magnesium oil spray. I'm doing the water kefir, uh, which by the way, we have about 20 in stock right now. 12 were already sold. We had about 34 uh, for this week. So if you guys want high quality water kefir made from all organic ingredients, glass bottle mineral water, jump on this. It's so time consuming for me to do this and it's not really worth the money. But if you guys buy it out, twice a week, I'll keep doing it. The timing is really tricky with the water kefir. You know, I'm not like all of these other companies that will leave it on the shelf for a week or two and then send you dead probiotics. This is all in the middle of the second ferment. So when it arrives to people in a day or two, it should have peak bacterial content and then it should be good for a little while longer. Uh, so definitely jump on that. Uh, hopefully they'll sell out by today or tomorrow and then I'll have a new batch ready right afterwards. The guys have been working hard all morning, getting uh, two pallets of orders done for Frankie's free range meat. Uh, speaking of the fabric earlier, I have to go drive by the tailor in Queens. So I want to get out of here as soon as possible because it might take me an hour to get there and then an hour and a half to get home. And <laughs> if I spend four hours in my car today, like I did on Friday, I'm not going to be happy the rest of the week. So 
I just want to get out of here as soon as possible and see if I could dodge as much traffic because I also have to go on my computer at home. I got to place an order for some more styrofoam and get a couple of other things done. Uh, a couple orders out of the way, see what I can get on the meat end. I know we ran out of marabones this week and I might have to even buy, uh, you know, if the slaughterhouse isn't looking like it's going to pan out very quickly and uh, if things keep going the way they're going, I'm going to have to buy a bandsaw by, uh, I mean, it's already the middle of August. I need a bandsaw by the end of September, so that's going to be another few thousand dollars just to start cutting up some marrow bones. And the bandsaw, I need it anyway if I get the slaughterhouse because I'm going to need a separate one to cut ice uh, because that's what they use to cut the dry ice into smaller blocks. I've been so hands off these past two weeks just because I've been completely over everything, but let me show you guys what's going on in the freezer. So for our ribeye and strip steaks, we temporarily have some smaller portion steaks. Uh, I think we still have the one pound strip loin, but for the ribeye, we have 10 ounce ribeyes instead of one pound just temporarily for a few weeks because we got lower pricing. I do actually have some Kobe beef wagyu steaks. You know, sometimes um, the vendor farm I purchased from sends me wagyu that they had extra of just as like a nice uh, gesture. I don't know how much you guys, like what do you guys think you would pay for this? It's like a moderate marbling, but it is Kobe beef. It's, you know, it's, uh, I think it's the American half Wagyu, half Angus. So, you know, most companies would sell these steaks for $50, $60 each. I don't think I have enough to give them away with every order, but I, I don't know, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, we have a lot of organic burgers back in stock. So if you guys want these, there's a great deal. It's $8.50, I believe, per pound for 100% organic burger patties. By far the lowest priced online. I don't know, just so many goat organs. We did get the lamb testicles back in stock. And I'm out of stock on a lot of beef organs. The rest of the orders to do for today. I don't know if there's anything else to really talk about this week. Uh, I'm just concerned that the loan company that is reviewing uh, all my paperwork for the slaughterhouse is going to decline it. Um, possibly because I have those pending lawsuits from uh, the you know who scumbags. And if that happens, then uh, we're going to have some more fun talking shit. But hopefully that doesn't happen because I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But uh, I'm just trying to take it day by day and kind of stick it out because, as I think I just said, going in the freezer, I'm completely over this shit. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job of catching up on all the businesses, uh, keeping all the products in stock. Uh, but, but let me finish up those foods orders. Let me give it over to, uh, to Queens to see my tailor and uh, get the Wi-Fi shield and clothing ready for you guys this week. And then I'm going to go home, do all that work on my computer that I have to do. So I think I'll you know, wrap this up nice and short this week. If you guys have any questions about any products, anything missing, if there's anything wrong with your order, please feel free to uh, reach out to me via email. You know, I'm trying my best. You know, I mean, it's unusual to have a company like this and just basically running everything myself. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, in, in past videos I've mentioned, like, you know, I was hoping to have some relief at this point in some capacity, but it hasn't happened. Whether that means making more money, being able to hire more people to help me, but I, I really don't know how much longer I'm willing to stick this out. And you know, I told myself last week that this is the hard part. You know, if I can make it through the next few months, a year or two, until I'm in a position where you know I'm in the slaughterhouse, I have my own place, I'm in a lower Wi-Fi EMF environment, I'm feeling a lot better, my liver's healthier. I just don't know if I'm, I'm going to be able to get to that point, but. We'll see. So thank you guys for joining me. If you could please just drop a like on the video, leave a comment. You know, who, I don't think it fucking matters, honestly, whether you guys like or comment on the video because they just shadow ban me anyway. So definitely unsubscribe so you can witness YouTube unsubscribing you. And then uh, check the notification bell so you don't get notified of my videos. But uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow if I don't completely lose it.